This video will demonstrate how to configure the gradebook in Moodle 2.6. I'm going to start by going to my administration block, which is usually at the lower part of the left-hand column. To get there easily, I'm going to collapse my course list, my na navigation block, so here I get to administration. Here I'm going to click on grades. It starts out with the grader report, but to configure the gradebook, you want to go to Categories and Items. Now I'm using a sample syllabi that I got from the internet, and in this sample syllabi, we have a very simple grading scheme. We have two exams, each worth 100 points. We have two exercises, each worth 50 points, and then a final exam. All of this adds up to 400 points. So let's put this together in Moodle. First of all, we're going to change the aggregation method. Aggregation simply means how the grades are calculated. The default is the simple weighted means of grades. But because we just want to go with a total of points, we're going to change it to sum of grades. Now to add each of my items, I'm going to go down to the bottom and use Add Grade Item button. I'm going to click this, and I'm going to put in my first one, which is exam number one, and the maximum grade on that is going to be 100, and I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And now I'm going to say add exam two. Again, the default maximum grade is 100, which is exactly what I want, so I'll say save. So now you can see I have both exam one and exam two. If we go back to our syllabus, we also need two exercises and then a final exam. So I'm going to click grade, add a grade item again, and I'm going to put in exercise number one. And then this time I'm going to change the maximum grade to 50 points because these are worth a little bit less than the exams. And I will say save. And I'll do the same thing again for exercise two. Again, making it 50 points, and save. Finally, I need to add the final exam. One more grade item. I'll call it final exam. And that is also worth 100 points, so I don't need to change that. And I will say save. And so now you see all of your grade items, exams 1 and 2, exercises 1 and 2, and then the final exam and the course total adds up to 400 points. To enter grades, you go back over to the View tab and view the grader report. Here you'll see all of your students listed as well as all of the grade items we just put into the gradebook. To start entering grades, we're going to use the Turn Editing On button in the upper right. And then you'll see you have boxes for each of the grade items for each of the students where you can type in your grades. As you type in your grades, you can type the number and then hit tab, and that will tab down so you can enter all of the exam one grades for students, like this. You can see that as I'm entering grades, two things are happening. The boxes here are turning orange. This indicates that these grades were hand entered and not automatically con um, sent to the gradebook from other activities such as an assignment or a quiz. Also, it begins adding up the course total for you immediately. When you're done entering your grades for this time, go ahead and turn editing off. And your grades here will be saved.